All right, everybody, we're back. AT vlog number five. And uh, this is an exciting one. Uh, we just started today at Fontana Dam, which is the official start of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. What? Yeah, if you just saw, we, uh, it requires a permit to hike through this section, which is $20 online. And it's just for hiking through the National Park uh, nonstop. They give you eight days to do it, a little over 70 miles. And uh, we just dropped our permits in the box right back there. And uh, we are officially into the park. So should be a lot of beautiful things to see in here. Very high elevation, could be a little cold. And uh, we're gonna share it all with you. So let's get started. Well, we're about four miles in and uh, you may have noticed a couple changes so far. We're four miles in? Yeah, about. Yeah, <laughs> and first of all, it's just Ashley and I right now. And uh, we lost two people, Buddy and Hoffa. Hoffa was having some foot trouble and needed to take some days off. And I think our pace may have just been a little quick for her. So she took a couple rest days and uh, she's on trail just a little bit behind us. She'll probably catch up one of these days. She is a fast hiker. She just needed a little recovery time. So maybe we'll see her during or after the Smokies. And then Buddy, who of course, I know you all are wondering where Buddy is. And uh, there's a couple sections on the Appalachian Trail where dogs are not allowed. And the Smokies is unfortunately the biggest one. So that was the big reason my dad was hanging around and he was able to slack pack us for so long is because he was waiting because he's gonna watch Buddy as we go through the Smoky Mountains here. So there are other options. There are uh, kennels, which will actually pick up dogs at the beginning and drop them off to you at the end, but they're a little expensive and Buddy's not a big fan of being kenneled. We uh, kenneled him for one day before when we went to Disney World and he hated it. So did not want to do it to him for a whole week. So he's hanging out with my dad, but he's on an RV vacation while we pass through the Smoky Mountains here. We're gonna pick him up on the other side just about a week from now. And we'll probably see him at about the halfway point. We'll probably take a little rest in Gatlinburg on the way. So those are our trail updates. So far we've gone up Oh, a lot. We we'll probably have gone up close to 2,000 feet already. Maybe like 1,500-ish. And so far the forests have looked roughly the same as the last few days. Should get a lot prettier once we get up into the higher elevations of the Smokies here. And uh, we've got our first big viewpoint of the Smokies coming up. It's a Shuckstack Fire Tower. It's about six miles in from the dam and uh, it's supposed to be the first big viewpoint, and I've heard one of the best of the Smokies, so we'll keep on pushing up to the fire tower and uh, show you guys those views. Also, you may notice that Ashley switched out her camp shoes. She used to have these little rubber things that weren't visible. They were in her pack, and now she's got the Crocs. <laughs> Ashley, yeah. you happy about the Crocs? Yes, I am. <laughs> I actually missed them, so I was like, and every time I saw, cause I think, I think Crocs are like the most popular shoes out here, camp shoes. And I was getting so jealous every time I saw some of them, saw some, out of breath, saw someone with them. So I got mine now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dropped our packs at the bottom of the hill. Just got a quick climb up to the top of the Shuckstack Fire Tower here. Looks pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> Shuckstack Fire Tower. I'm like a break. <laughs> <laughs> Don't slip through the hole in the floor. Very cool. It's awesome. You got the dam right over there. Big views of the lake. And a pretty solid view all the way around. <laughs> Just 
peeking out all the windows. Very cool. Heck of a view up here. <laughs> Molly's Ridge Shelter, 3.1 miles. 3.1? 3.1. And look, Fontana Dam, 6.8. That's how far we've gone. Cool. <laughs> Molly's Ridge Shelter is where we're aiming for. For tonight, it should give us about an 11 mile day. And it was pretty much all uphill, so it was a tough 11. Especially after having our full packs, after slack packing for a while, definitely feel it. But uh, I think we got this, three miles to go. It's four o'clock, we should make it in about an hour before sunset, have plenty of time to set up camp. So another interesting thing about the Smokies is that you're not just allowed to drop your tent at any random site, it has to be a designated campsite or a shelter. I think it's mostly just shelters, so. And because of COVID right now, you are allowed to camp around the shelters in your tent. Usually they make you stay in them, but right now, if they're full, or I guess if you choose to, you're allowed to camp right next to them in your tent. So, that's the plan for tonight. Appalachian Trail, day 19. Started the day at Molly's Ridge Shelter, and we're hoping to make it 12 miles up to Derek's Knob Shelter. And uh, we're about halfway into the day today. About six miles in, stopping at a shelter here for lunch. I think it's called like Spencer something shelter, Spencer's Creek maybe. It's a little bit off trail, but we're gonna eat lunch there. And there's supposed to be a water source, so we'll top off our bottles. Unfortunately, I don't even see the shelter yet, so it is a little bit of a walk off trail, but should be worth it because we needed the water anyway. All right, moving on from lunch. And we got a couple little uh, mountain peaks coming up here. And it looks like the trees should be short and there might be some nice views coming up. So we will definitely share that, but it's already opening up a little bit. Look how nice it is around here. Hey, Ashley. Any day now. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty up here. This is more like what I expected from the Smoky Mountains. These nice, like, high elevation views. Right up around about 5,000 feet right now. All right, this is the first of two mountain peaks that we're gonna see today. This first one is called Rocky Top. And the next one I think is called uh, Thunderhead Mountain. But you could see some great views behind me here. Not Ashley, right? We're talking about the mountains. <laughs> Very nice up here. 
little windy. Hope it doesn't mess up the audio too bad, but check out these views. Made to summit number two, Thunderhead Mountain. Look at that. See the survey mark right there. Yeah, and the views aren't as pretty looking out, but I am really digging the leaves on both sides. Like, look at that tunnel down there. Oh, yeah, and hopefully, once we move down a little farther, it'll open up and we'll see something. Mm -hmm. Ready to keep going? Okay, let's go. And uh, that should be about it for the big climbs today. I hope. It's just a lot of up and down now, all the way to the shelter. I've got to say, day two in the Smokies has been some of our best views so far. A few nice overlooks and a bunch of that like high elevation feeling hiking where the trees are a little shorter. There was some grass we were walking through. Very pretty. So overall, good day. Made it to the shelter and we got a spot inside because it, unfortunately it's supposed to be raining when we wake up tomorrow morning. So we didn't want to have to deal with breaking down our tents. And this is also our first night in a shelter. Yeah, first time we're actually going to sleep in one, so we'll see how it is. And uh, we're taking the long, steep walk <laughs> down to the water source at the shelter here to fill up our bottles before we go to sleep tonight. And I'll show you a shot of the shelter once we make it back up there. And we've also got an exciting milestone coming up in the next day or two here. It is the highest point on the Appalachian Trail. So, uh, we'll show you that when we get there. It's going to be a day or so, though. Day 20. How you doing, Ashley? Send help! <laughs> I hate it here! <laughs> this is rough! <laughs> <laughs> walking today uh day 20 we're going derrick's knob shelter and we're hoping to get to i believe it's called double spring shelter it's about seven and a half miles up and it is the last shelter before getting to clingman's dome which is the highest point on the appalachian trail and i really hope the weather clears up a little bit tomorrow i hope to uh see a clingman's dome not in this weather so oh, we'll see oh, looks like we're getting a little bit out of the wind for a second here but yeah, um, not our best day. Not our best day. Very thankful we slept in the shelter last night. It would have been completely miserable if we had to break down our tents in the rain this morning. That, that only would have made things worse. So at least we didn't have to do that. 
Uh, we get to test out our rain gear on a positive note. Got my REI Rainier rain jacket and my uh, $10 rain pants from Walmart, who's our betrayal special. Ashley, I don't even know what Ashley's rain gear is. REI. It's an REI jacket and are the pants REI also? Yeah. Oh, just repping that REI gear. So, anyways, we're gonna keep on pushing through today. It's gonna be a wet one. What's it like hiking in the rain? It's, it's not fun. Okay. Um, if you have the option, don't hike in the rain. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. What are you doing? <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's less fun than hiking in the sun. That's what it's like. And here's what the trail looks like today. More like a river than a trail. Unfortunately, I think some great views were ruined today by the weather. Like, I bet this is a beautiful view out here. But you can tell we're getting up into some real high elevation because uh, we're getting into our first pine trees here. I think this is the first one, at least, that I've noticed. Right here, this little guy, and then uh, we're getting right up into it now. So I guess we're really getting up into that high elevation. It's wind. Yeah, it's not even the rain that's the problem. It's the wind. It's got to be gusting at least 40. It's just, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's more than 40. Look at these trees. We're sheltered from the wind right here, but right up this hill, we're going to get back into it. These trees are shaking. Oh, the <laughs> All right, we got to put the phone away and uh, let's get back to it. It's raining so hard, but it's too pretty in here not to film. Wow been an amazing section if the weather were just a little bit better. Still pretty though. I mean it might work out to your benefit, at least the benefit of your wallet, maybe not your conscience. Good morning from Double Spring Shelter. flooded in here last night. Everything was pretty muddy. How's it going, Ashley? Wet. <laughs> Everything is wet. Today we have 10 miles to go. We just started our hike and we are going to make it to Klingman's Dome. So a few cool things about this dome, not only if, is it one of the best views in the Smokies National Park, but it also is the highest point on the AT. I think it's 6,600 feet high. And another awesome thing is it's our 200 mile mark on the AT. Very relieved that the weather cleared up today. And uh, that looks like we're actually going to get a view from the dome. If we went yesterday, I'm sure we just would have seen uh, rain and fog. But today looks uh, very nice. So good decision stopping at that shelter to see the dome today. Should be really cool. So it's, the dome is just about three miles up. And then we have another seven after that. And we're going to hop off trail at Newfound Gap and go into Gatlinburg, which is a great town if you're in the mood to take a zero about halfway through the Smokies. So. Yeah, we're gonna hike three more miles and uh, we'll catch up with you at the dome. These woods that we're hiking in all the way up to the dome are beautiful. I think I called them pine trees yesterday. What? Yeah, I believe they're actually Stop. spruce trees, but you tell them, I was just about to say it. What? It smells so good in here. I was gonna say it smells just like Christmas, Christmas. trees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It smells like a Christmas tree stand in here. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful.
there it is. Klingman's Dome. For some reason, I pictured it being a lot bigger. <laughs> That's only like, what, maybe like 80 feet tall, maybe 100? It's cool though. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. 200 miles, someone did that. 200 miles and the dome. Very cool. And we drop our backpacks off down here and walk to the top without them because that'd be a lot extra work. Exactly. <laughs> point on the AT. Right here, we did it. We're all the way up. Well, that's gonna be about it for this video. This one's gonna cover the uh, first half of the Smoky Mountains. We're gonna pull off trail up ahead here at Newfound Gap, and we're gonna go into Gatlinburg. The plan is to take at least one day off. We're gonna do a zero day in Gatlinburg. We're gonna get to visit Buddy since we haven't seen him for a while, hopefully get some good food, and uh, maybe even some new camping gear. If we uh, can go into it in this town and find uh, the local REI, we might do some gear upgrades up ahead here, like possibly a waterproof bear bag since uh, we have to hang them at night. And when it rains, our food gets a little wet. So that's where we're gonna leave you for this one. It's gonna be the first part of the Smoky Mountains in this video. And uh, we will leave you with a few shots that we take during our zero day. And uh, we'll see you next time for the rest of the Smokies. Newfound Gap. Made it. Wow, oh, wow, it's busy. 